Here is Mouse's updated behavior plan since he has made so much progress. This version of the plan is only if Mouse comes out of hiding. If he stays hidden, please refer to his previous behavior plan and continue working with him in that fashion. When I enter the room, I don't announce myself because once I do, Mouse will come directly towards me and I need to be completely set up and ready for him. So after walking in, I immediately grab what I need, usually treats, a string toy, and his plush toy. Once I am seated and ready for him, then I call out for Mouse, letting him know I am here and ready. You can see that he is still a bit nervous and hisses. That's okay, I remain calm and willing to work with him. As you can see, I'm sitting on the ottoman, but I have also sat on the stool. I feel more protected in these two places versus, for example, sitting on the chair. This is because I can cover my lap with my arms and hunch over a bit, further protecting the front of my body. I am also wearing my jacket so I can cover my hands and protect my arms just in case. I place one toy in between my knees and the other in my hands. I am not actively using the toy to pet him in the beginning. I am simply allowing him to brush up against the toys on his own. I may feel he is more comfortable and move the toys in a more active petting way. But again, do not place your hands anywhere near him. I always have my hands up, covered, or at the level of my lap. I simply allow Mouse to move about the room, rub against me, rub against the toys, and basically am going with his pace. Even though you may be tempted, please do not reach down and pet Mouse or put your hands anywhere near him. Good boy. Please do not stare at Mouse or look at him for more than two seconds. Staring can be very threatening in cat language. Remember, Mouse is choosing to go outside his comfort zone, he is choosing to allow us near him, and we need to keep that trust he has built in us by being predictable. Nice boy. Also, be mindful of picking things up from the ground when Mouse is near. I always wait for his back to be turned or he is away from me if I need to pick anything up. This is why it's important to get yourself situated before he comes out. Mouse seems comfortable when I walk about the room, but I do so very, very slowly. Be mindful of having your foot move towards him. He will see this as a threat. You can talk to him during your sessions, but also silence is nice as well. You can try to reward him with treats, but in my experience, his reward or reinforcement is me, which is awesome. So he has not been interested in treats. When you are ready to leave, wait until Mouse is at a distance from you, meaning he is not directly under your legs. Let him know you need to leave and we'll see him later. Slowly walk out and know he may follow you to the door. Just wait, be patient, and allow him to walk away before you exit. This is yet another example of why behavior protocols work. When everyone's doing the same thing, we become very predictable and the cat is able to trust us. Thank you so much for caring about cats like Mouse. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of our cat behavior plans.